to a time. Eddie and his family family will be removed and may be destroyed by the security services. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Richard speaking. I am pleased to tell you the Dad Rouse stream will be starting on time at 2030. 2030, starting on time for the Dad Rouse stream. Mind the gap between the train and the platform. Mind the gap.
Good evening once again, ladies and gentlemen. Just to let you know, we will be starting in approximately five minutes' time. Five minutes' time for the Dad Rail live stream. Passengers are reminded that smoking is prohibited at train stations and on all train services. This includes e-cigarettes. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Dabrail live stream with me, Richard, wearing my nice new Train Sim 2 Rush Hour hat and top that Dovetail were very kind to send to me. It's a bit on the tight side, though. I might have to lose some weight so I can get into it. <laughs> Great to have so many of you with us today. We are doing a run on the Class 313 on the East Coastway route from Eastbourne through to Brighton. Uh, one of the scenarios that I've not yet had a chance to have a go at. We're going to be doing all the usual uh, features in tonight's stream. We're going to be jumping in and out of the Discord server. So feel free to post your pictures over there. 
Oh, some nice Southwest train action and a class 90. Is that a 90 or a 91? It's a 91, that one, isn't it? Really bad with locos. We're also going to be playing Locomotive Location Livery. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. With brand new sound effects. And today's picture comes courtesy of uh, LaserJet, who is in the chat. And it's uh, quite a tough one for you, I reckon. But knowing you guys, you'll get it pretty easily. So, as always, before we jump into the game, I have got to tell you that all the opinions expressed in this video are solely my own, blah, 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 and all that good stuff that I'm absolutely obliged to tell you. So, we'll jump in, and then I will see if I can catch up with the chat and answer some of your questions. Right, let's put the game audio on, because I always forget to do that. So, far reaches scenario, runner class 313-2 from Eastbourne to Brighton, dealing with a slow train on the way. So, it should be a good one. Should be a good one. Okay, so we are going to be playing um, Locomotive Location Livery. And as you've probably heard, I've got some nice new sound effects for it. So when we begin playing, or when I want you to post pictures for it, you're now going to get a sound effect. You're going to get something like this. Post your numbers now for Locomotive Livery Location. Fantastic. Because I kept saying it wrong, so I thought I'm going to have to get something pre-made. <laughs> Right, okay. So scenario is going to tell me everything that I need to do. Uh, let's run. We'll get in the train, get going, and then I'll try and catch up with the uh, chat, guys. Head to the driver's seat and sit down. Let's open the window. It's nice and warm outside. Uh, let's put the AWS in as well, because as you know, I like to drive with the safety systems on. Set the guards key to on as well. Okay. Unlock doors. We are loading passengers. Okay, so with the signal is off, as we can see there, we've got the banner repeater, and we've got the, um, we can see the signal itself as well. So we don't need to set our DRA. Uh, so what we would normally be doing is doing a full brake test. So we're going to go into emergency. Uh, we'd want to see our brake gauge come up to between 3 and 4 bar. I'm not sure if the brakes are affected by the interlock on this or not. So this may not work. So down to 3, down to 2. Yeah, that's fine. We can see the brake gauge dropping. Down to 1. Then what we want to do is release the brakes and push them back on very quickly just to check that they are releasing. Uh, I'm guessing the brakes are held on because the doors are open, which they are on some modern trains. So if you haven't got door interlock, you won't be able to release the brakes fully. What we'd want to do then is test any emergency stop plunges in the cab. Uh, doesn't look like we've got any. And we'd also want to test the um, dead man's handle. So we put the train into forward. What would normally happen now is the dead man's alarm would go off, the vigilance alarm. So you'd put your foot on the pedal, release it, wait for it to time out. You'd get an emergency brake application and then you would know that's working. Right, lock both. Off we go. So where are we stopping? We are Hamden Park. Colgate, Berwick, uh, it's dropped me down to the bottom, my scroll wheel's funky, I need to get a new one, uh, Berwick, Glind, Lewis, Falmer, and Brighton. So, into forward, we're 25 leaving Eastbourne, take the brakes off, and off we go. Southeast Train Spotter, hello, Super Family Gaming, hi, 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 hi. Who else have we got? Robert Lilly, Joseph Adams, Tizer T Plays, Sinestia, Josh Brown, Crazy Plays, Johnny Simulator Gaming. Loads of you in tonight. Fantastic. Of course, if you haven't already, do please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Still going for that magic uh, 10k target on the subs. So, green leaving Eastbourne, up to 25. Yeah, we're all good, thanks, Josh. How did uh, everyone weather the storm yesterday? I hope no one's got too much damage or nobody got hurt. It was uh, it was an interesting day at work. That's all I can say. It was uh, it was a very interesting day at work yesterday. George, how many trampolines did you hit yesterday? Um, none actually. I uh, I was supposed to be on a de-icing train yesterday and I didn't make it out the yard. I got to the exit signal on the yard, then got told there were trees down and I wasn't going out. So I ended up taking a um, going out on a route proving engine, looking for trees. 
Right, she's a little bit of wheel slip there. So I'm just going to shut back and do a running brake test. We're going to put it into brake step one. Check the brakes are working properly. Which they are. Got a positive reduction in speed. And off we go. Straight into notch four or weak field. TR9, polystyrene blew out of my garden. A crazy place today in Germany. Wind was a little bit, so no trams operated till 11 a.m. Uh, down in the south where I am, there's been no trains um, all day today, pretty much. So very limited routes open. Same yesterday. Everything shut down about midday yesterday. Just so many trees down on the line. So we are 70 Hamden Park coming up. I do sign this bit of route as far as the next junction. Yeah, Ethan, I cleared, after the one at Tunbridge that I posted, I um, helped to clear one more tree up towards Seven Oaks, and that was all we saw. But I believe the Tunbridge to Hastings line, there were quite a few trees down on that. Right, we are free for the free approaching Hamden Park. Brakes are in. I'm going to give that a little bit more because the brakes on this are not particularly great. Uh, Laser Chat is very keen to get his picture on LLL. I tell you what, as we're on, as we're on quite a short run, I will play this now. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I had these these sound effects made up by a chap on Fiverr, who's done a really good job with them. Right there's the free car mark. That's looking like a pretty good stop. A little bit of overrun, but nothing too bad. Down to one for the stop. And we are in. Let's get those doors open. Free cars. Free car mark. Platform on the left. Okay, Mark Lawrence, you are the third one on my screen. I always pick the third one with uh, number six. Let's so play. let's go. Locomotive livery location. There we go. Box number six. Any ideas what that might be, guys? Any ideas at all? I think this is going to be quite a tough one tonight. Or maybe that little 8-4-G just completely gives it away. Maybe I should have photoshopped that out. Why are we taking so long to load passengers? Nobody's getting on. It's just taking ages. We're late. Come on, we're late. We're late. We're late. We need to go. Maxwell Winshepherd, Flying Scotsman. Uh, Mark Wilson. That is a good question. If you can't get, if you can't work your shift due to the weather, etc., do you still get paid? Um, yeah, generally speaking, Mark, you will because that's not your fault. If you can't get to work because of the weather, um, then that might be down to your manager's discretion. Green signal, Hamden Park level crossing. Yeah, but if you get to work and your train's not running, um, then yeah, you'd, you'd still get paid. Daniel's train says it's a kettle. Uh, Robin's man, Davrail, were you at Polegate Station on Thursday? No, afraid not. Not me. That means there's some poor soul out there that looks like me. <laughs> Daniel's train says 53808 Bishops Lydid BR Black. So we are coming up to Willingdon Junction. This is as far as my route knowledge goes because I signed the route round to the right. Uh, I do not sign this bit going straight on. But I have travelled along this route quite a lot because as a kid I used to live in one of those houses that I'm looking at now. That road there, it's Hazelwood Avenue, that road. I used to live just up there as a kid. Could be where my uh, my passion for railways comes from. Who knows, who knows. Mark Lawrence thinks it's a black five. Mm, 
No, it's a GWR steam engine, says Maxwell Win. So the thing is with um, cam driven loco like this, or cam driven unit like this, is I want to make sure I'm handling the power controller nice and gently, so I want to be going up and down through the notches slowly. So that's the warning for the 35, AWS magnet for the signal is a good place to start getting the break in for that. Next station will be Polgate. Yeah, I forget I'm not in a 375, 377, so the brakes are not quite as sharp. But we should be alright for that 35 still. Alfie, I wish the London commuter had more trains on PS4. Yeah, I think that's due to the limitations on the console. I think if you've got London commuter on PS5, you do get a lot more of the overlays. So there we go, we're good for the 35. Uh, South East train spoiler, if I haven't responded then I do apologise for that. Um, I've been rather busy the last couple of days my friend. But if anyone wants to do, submit any pictures for locomotive location delivery in the future, you can contact me on my social media channels which are on the screen now or you can send it via Discord. To everyone who's sent one in, if I haven't responded um, I do apologise. That train has no lights on. Now it does. Rendering issue. So we are good for 90, but we're coming into Polgate, so no point accelerating. Let's see if we can get a good stop. Super Family Gaming. Dad Route, I want to talk to you for a second. You can say anything you want, bud. As long as it's nice. Family friendly. Steve, killing back music. Welcome to the stream, bud. That is coming in lovely there. A little bit of two just to bring it in. Oh, we're going to have a perfect stop. Two, back to one. Not too shabby, I'll take that. Right, we are a free car train. We're on the free car mark and the platform is on the left. Let's get the doors open. Yes, Davidoff, there will be a supporters only stream starting after this one at um, 9.30, which is one of the things I do every month for my Patreon supporters. We have a supporter only live stream and it's going to be a bit of a special one because Mumrail is going to be taking the controls and she's going to be having a little drive tonight on the uh, supporter only stream. If you would like access to that or would like to jump into that, then uh, jump over to patreon.com forward slash dadrail and all the details you need are over there. It'll be a good laugh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that much is for sure. That much is for sure. Uh, Dadra, how did you get home after the train stopped running? A train spot from Berkshire says, um, Yeah, I was stupid enough yesterday to take the train to work. I probably should have driven. Um, so I had to make my, uh, my own way home. Um, Utilising company transport, <laughs> I think is the best way I can put it. Right, lock doors. We have a green signal. Right, so door interlock, green signal, release the brakes and take power. So I'm gentle on the controller. It's power notch one, take it up to about seven, eight miles an hour, into two. And what I want to do here, you can see there's a gap in the third rail coming across the crossing. So I'm actually going to shut that back one and then off. Because potentially what could happen is you've got a gap in the conductor rail. You could lose the DC current. And on these older cam driven locomotives like the class 73, the class 313 etc. Um, you draw quite a large arc as you go across the gaps in the conductor rail. So I don't, I think it looks like gaps are simulated actually. Which is quite nice. But yeah on a class 73 if you're pulling lots of amps. And you go across the gap in the third round and the power suddenly drops out. You do get a nice massive arc um, and if it comes back in again shortly afterwards you can draw lots of power too quickly and then you can have flashovers and blow out substations and all sorts so it's good fun it's good fun Paul Crease evening just got back from a long shift so dad rail and beer it is tonight I'll drink to that pepper pig <laughs> I'm, I'm not on the beer tonight though 
Uh, Matteo. So I say Matteo like I'm Leslie from Benidorm. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. George, did you stand there hitchhiking at the yard exit? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Maxwell Winshepard, Dadra, what is your opinion on the 69? All views and opinions expressed within this video are solely my own. I don't like them. <laughs> I think they look nice on the outside and I think they'll be good locomotives, but um, personally, uh, from a driver's perspective, I'm not a fan. That doesn't mean they're bad locomotives, it just means that I, I don't like them from a driver's perspective. So I think the top speed of a 313 is 75. Yes, it is. So if I go over 75, is the game going to penalise me or is it going to let me do that? Let's have a little look. So we've just gone past the diamond board on the left, which is the coasting board. So I am going to be good and shut off and coast. Looks like the game isn't going to penalise me for doing more than 75. Looks like it's going to let me have it. But we have gone past the coasting board, so I will shut off and let the train coast. Uh, save a little bit of energy. Super Family Gaming. Dara, can you come to my house in New Addington? My house number is... I'm not sure you want to be posting that on YouTube, bud. The game will let you overspeed, says TR9, yeah. So you can see why we had the coasting ball two miles back. I've kind of hardly lost any speed. So the foot crossing here is a good breaking point. Um, that is a good braking point in a 377, but obviously the brakes are not quite so sharp on these. So I might need a little bit of two to bring that in for Berwick. Is ALD, the 69s are nice to spot. It's really nice to see old locomotives being repurposed. Um, as much as I don't like them from a driver's perspective, seeing that shaped locomotive out and about is really, really nice. And if it saves them from the, uh, from the breaker's torch, then I'm all for it. Yeah, the gradient coming up into Berwick absolutely kills the speed there. So I'm going to need to release that. I'm going to take a little... No, I won't take any power. I'll be good. So if you are local to the area, on the left just here is a very nice pub called the Berwick Inn. Highly recommend it. Unfortunately, the trains going past are not much in the way of variety. Um... I don't even think you get 171s through there very often anymore. I think it's really just 377s. Uh, we want to get some serious break in. Thinking about the pub there, you see. So we're in break step three. I'm going to drop that back to two. And then back to one for the stop. And that's not too bad. Get the doors open. Let's jump in the Discord to see what you guys have been posting. So someone has posted a master key. I've got quite a few of those in my bag. Nice 37 by Hayden and a 66 by Daniel's Trains. If you want to post in the Discord server, guys, you can do. We're in the live stream pictures page. And you'll find a link in the description, invitation link for the Discord server. So we're at Berwick. We'll be leaving in a few minutes, which gives me just enough time to press this. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I'm not sure how long I'm going to use that for. I think it might get annoying after a while, but until the novelty wears off, I'm going to keep pressing it. Yeah, ZLD 101s. I've only ever driven those on diesel railcar simulator, and I, I did really enjoy them on some of my very early streams. Um, I had to look back at some of my very early streams. The quality on them was pretty shocking. To say the least, I think I think the streams are a little bit better now, quality-wise. Okay, Southeast train spot. Oh, 66. We can't have 66. Daniel's trains. You're the third one, third plausible number on my list with number two. So let's get going. Brakes off. Power notch one. Power notch two. I'll keep driving. Let's, let's play. play. Locomotive livery location. Daniel's Trains wants to see number two. Let's reveal that. Yes, 
Is that helpful, guys? I purposely positioned the picture so it wouldn't reveal all the number uh, in one go. That was that was done on purpose. Let me know what you guys are thinking. Oh, Southeast train spot. I've done a typo. Oh, too bad, bud. Too bad. Black five? Clack five? I am really bad with steam engines, so... I'm just going by my piece of paper. Here. It tells me what it is. Right, nice run down to Glind now. Uh, we get a little bit of 80 just before Glind as well. Southeast Rail Production is yet to see a 69 through Lewis, unfortunately. I believe 69s are clear to run um, down through Lewis. I don't see why they wouldn't be. I need to double check that, though. Uh, Jay, is the 69 more like a 73 or a 66? So we've just gone past the coasting board there again, guys. So I'm just going to shut off. It's a little white white diamond at the uh, side of the track, which tells us to shut off and coast to save energy. Um, it is a cross between a 69 and a 73, I would say, to be completely honest with you. Um, the power system is very 66 orientated, but the... Um, I mean, the braking system... I mean, the braking system isn't like a 73 in some respects, but other respects it is. In so much that when you shut the locomotive down, you've got to pin the brake controller away. So there's, I'd say there's there's a legacy from both, definitely. Alfie, I wish this game had indoor train announcements. Yeah, I do, Alfie. Yeah, Pig and Bob, I need to see the 69003 and 004. I had the pleasure of driving 004. Or shunting 004 around the yard yesterday. I wasn't keen on the livery when I saw the pictures of it, but seeing it in the flesh, it's it doesn't look too bad. It's quite nice. Right, so 1.6 miles from the station, we'll jump into Discord quickly. See what has been posted. Oh, look at that! Beautiful, beautiful. How much longer are they going to be around for, guys? I don't think they've got much much life left in them, unfortunately. Uh, Davidoff, I got the hat and t-shirt from um, Dovetail Games. They were kind enough to send it to me. So if they've sent it to me, it'd be rude not to wear it. Right, so that is our repeater signal for Glind, which is a good place to get... Sorry, distant signal for Glind, which is a good place to get some brakes in. Northern Princess Productions. As ex-train crew, I'm qualified to do the announcements. Get me on a voice chat, lol. I, uh, I, I think we can arrange that at some point. Most definitely. I did ask at the end of the last stream for a bit of feedback and some of the, um, someone said like having a bit more sort of a technical insight. Why are my brakes coming on really harsh there? What's going on? Okay, brake step one and the speed seems to be flying off. We're on a level gradient as well. That seems a bit weird. Well, that seems alright now. I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, a couple of people said they'd like to sort of have more um, technical stuff, like sort of me talking a bit more about rules and stuff. And um, a few more visitors or guests in the stream as well. Obviously, I've done the one with um, Joe, British Ace, which was really good. So, yeah, it's certainly something I want to do. Back to one for the stop. Doesn't want to stop. There we go. Right, we are a free car train. We are on the free car mark on the platforms. Pretty much bang on, actually. Doors on the left. One Dan and his boat. What a great username. Loving that. Uh, I bet you feel like you never have a day off when playing this and train sim. 
Uh, to be fair with you, I only play Train Sim and Train Sim World when I'm streaming. I, I don't tend to play it much when well, at all really unless I'm sort of preparing something for a stream or having to play with the new routes and stuff I don't as a rule I don't tend to play it I used to play a lot of train sim primarily BVE uh, back in the day before I passed out as a train driver but when I passed out as a train driver it kind of lost its appeal a little bit but um, I do really enjoy driving them on the streams but when I, when you've got Four children and a loving wife like I've got as well. Looking at her over there, she's not listening. When you've got four children and a loving wife, just trying to find time to uh, to play games can be a bit difficult sometimes. Why are we running so late? Come on, lock doors. We are on a green. Next station will be Lewis. John M, good evening. Welcome to the stream. Right, power notch one. Little bit more. One Dan and his boat. Love the content you and Joe upload. Fantastic. Really pleased to hear that, bud. A Callum, good evening. Not stuck out um not stuck out clearing trees tonight then. Callum is uh, one of our community managers in the Discord server. Link in the description below. And he is also one of our diary contributors. So within our Discord server, we have a number of railway staff. We have English drivers, German drivers, Dutch drivers. We have um, cleaners, various other members of train crew, dispatchers, fitters. Um, and they all keep their own individual diary channels. So it's a really good way of finding out about working on the railway and sort of railway information in general. And uh, Callum is one of our diary contributors who, from his post I read earlier, had an interesting day yesterday. Train, spotting carp, fish again. Debra, quick question. Do the railway companies look at the grades more or the person? Um, I would say definitely the person rather than the grades. If you apply for a job on the railway, any job, whether that be platform, conductor, management, driver, you'll be sent to an assessment centre to sit in assessment. Uh, and there'll be a variety of tests that you have to sit which will judge your ability, uh, will gauge your ability to do the job. So it could be that you've got no qualifications at all but you're perfectly well suited to the job. And providing your application comes across okay and you're good in interview and you pass the assessments then you'll be absolutely fine. Right, we're coming up to Southern Junction. I do sign from Southern Junction into Lewis. So that's good. Uh, let's see, before we get to Lewis... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. I'm going to have lots of fun with that. Callum, safe to say I no longer like trees. Right, so there's a 74 Southern Junction. Uh, then we've got a 60 just around the corner. Then we dropped 40 and 20 into Lewis. Oh no, 10 into Lewis in this direction, my apologies. So there's Southern Junction. As I'm sure you know, the line down there heads off towards uh, Seaford. And that is modelled in train sim. We've done that route quite a few times. South Eastern Train Spotter, you are in with number six. I'm going to get some brakes in. Promise I won't speed while we're playing. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. And we'll reveal what's behind window number six. We can't, we've already done number six. So I'll go on to the next one, which is uh, Tizer Plays and number five. What are your thoughts on that, guys? Has that helped at all? Not sure you can get the location from that. I mean, some somebody may well be able to. Somebody may well be able to. So there we have it, green, and we have a position one route indicator. Uh, Keith Jones, new subscriber, welcome to Dabrail. Uh, we've got 20 coming up and then we are 10 into the platform at Lewis, um, which starts at the uh, nose of the points.
Maxwell wants us to jump into Discord. We'll do that once we stop at Lewis Max. I told you where the 10 starts and still missed it. <laughs> There we go. We, we got down for it in the end. Uh, 7820 Dinmore Manor BR Black says Josh Brown. We are free for the free. So the two car mark on the left there would have been for when the um, 171s run along here. Used to have an express service from Ashford through to um, Brighton. Used to call it... Um, Ham Street, Appledore, Rye, Hastings, Bexhill, St. Lenzo Square, Bexhill, Eastbourne, Polgate, Lewis and Brighton used to be a fast service. Lovely service it was, um, but unfortunately that doesn't run anymore. Right, so we are free car train, free car mark platform on the left. Open the doors. Lewis is beautifully well modelled on here. It looks lovely. Let's see what you lovely people have been posting in the Discord. Callum Lang, welcome to Dadra. I am... I am bitterly disappointed that you weren't already subscribed. Bitterly disappointed, Callum. I don't know. <laughs> oh, we got some kettles. Daniel's Trains UK. Southeast Trains, what a free one nine at what looks like London Euston. I never knew they run into London Euston. And a beautiful Colas 56, I want to say. I could be wrong. It does look like a 56, though. Everyone's posting very quickly. Let's let that one load up and we'll go back. Is it going to work? 465 with a doctored front. That looks like... Oh, I want to say that's like Bromley North or somewhere like that maybe. Right, lock doors. We are good to go. Right, we haven't got much longer before we get to Brighton, so... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. And I am pulling away with the brakes on, which is never good. And we are 10 miles an hour leaving Lewis um, because of the, I believe it's because of the curvature and the um, kinetic envelope with the platform. Callum, I hang my head in shame. <laughs> Southeast train spotter is indeed Bromley North. I um yeah, I signed the Bromley North branch. It wasn't on the little map I posted in the Discord server, but I do sign that. Uh TR9 train spotting number 12. You are the third one on my list, bud. So let's play. Let's play. Locomotive livery location. Number 12. Oh. It's a tricky one tonight, guys. It's a tricky one tonight. Any ideas though? Any ideas? Right, so pulling the power around. Um, notch free, I believe, is uh, parallel on the power controller because these are cam driven. And if we go into notch four, we get a weak field. Rob FC Gaming, good evening, welcome to the stream, bud. 82 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and also consider subscribing to DadRail. And if you want to join us tonight in the um, supporter-only live stream where MumRail will be having a little go and probably crashing and having team biscuits with the manager, um, then you can visit patreon.com forward slash DadRail and find out about that. I always say if you can support me, it's great, but simply by watching the streams and hitting the like button and subscribing, you're supporting me more than you will ever know, guys. Um, YouTube give me probably about 20p per video. And, you know, I, don't, I, I do it because I really enjoy doing it. I enjoy the banter in the chat and getting to know some people. I've met some great people through doing this. And, uh, yeah, so no, sim simply by being here and watching the streams and liking and subscribing and stuff, you're supporting me um, immeasurably. So really steep uphill going up towards Falmer. And then we are fast Falmer to Brighton. Uh, Steve Kinnamat Music, on the chat I get in on three and four shows on your screen. Then I go for the fourth and third shows on your screen. Uh, Sonic Scott 91 welcome to Dadrail. Really great to have you here. 
Uh, Sam Brooks, Mumrail will be driving. I think I'm going to give her something nice and easy like the London commuter. But you, you never know. I know we've done that. We've done that one quite a lot. Callum, little tip with the three-on-three. Three. Take notch one to get going, then into series up to 20. Power down until 35, then whack it into weak field and watch it fly in real life. <laughs> so if these are... Because um, I think you know a bit more about them than I do, Callum. If they're cam-driven, do they have a hold position like the 73? Can you, um, can you, have you... Have you got the ability to hand-notch them? Or is it sort of full shunt, full series, full parallel, full weak field? Or can you stop in between? Uh, a train spotter from Berkshire, Dadra, what is the maximum number of hours a UK train driver can work in a shift? Uh, how many hours did you do yesterday, Callum? Was it about 20 or something ridiculous? Uh, as a rule, it should be 12. Um, but sometimes it doesn't always work out like that, unfortunately. Right, we're getting near to Brighton, so let's press the button. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Uh, LazyJet says, Dad Rao, will you upload the Patreon stream after it has been streamed? Um, they stay up online and Patreon supporters can access them at any time, LazyJet. So we're uphill up towards the tunnel coming up. Falmer Tunnel, I believe it is. Uh, and then the gradient sort of drops away down into Fran, uh, down into Fran, Falmer, sorry. Right, Rob FC Gaming, you're the third one on my screen with box number eight. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. There we go, guys. What are we thinking? What are we thinking? Any ideas from that? Right, so I'm going to get some serious braking. We've just gone past a one yellow. And like I said, when we come out the tunnel, the gradient just falls away. So it could be a bit awkward coming into the um, coming into the station because you can think you're coming in really nice. And then because, there you go, it's gone to 0 0.3. Um, because the change in gradient, you can really easily get caught out. So you think you're coming in lovely, then the gradient changes at 1.1 now. Uh, then your braking completely goes out the window. Uh, T nine train spotting looks very heritage railway vibes. Right. Okay. We're not going to spad. Let's get some braking. Right. I was twenty six over the magnet. I should have been. I'm going into full emergency now. Ah, oh, that'll do. We'll take it. So I should have been um, 20 over the magnet, not 26 over the magnet. It's what I was saying about the gradient, you know, full, falling away. So we are on a red, so we're going to set our DRA. Uh, we go full service brake application and into neutral. And we are free cars, free car mark, open the doors. Um, but because I was too fast over the magnet and I had to use the emergency brakes, I get to play my new sound effect. <laughs> I'm sure you get the reference. I'm sure you can get the reference. Sounds like there's a football match going on. Oh, it won't let me see in the stadium. The free cam won't go that far. Oh, that's annoying. That is that's really annoying. You can't see in the Amex Stadium. Yeah, when the Amex stadium, stadium opened, the um, bridge here at Falmer was upgraded, as you can see. So it's got a lot more capacity in it. So uh, we're still sitting on a red, loading passengers. Taking ages to load passengers on this scenario. I'm not quite sure why. Uh, we will jump into the Discord server and have a quick look over there. Daniel's Trains. Is that York Station, potentially? Or Preston, maybe? No, it's like York. I'm, go I'm going for York. Could be Preston. Now I'm going for York. And we have got what looks like... Is that um, SCR? <laughs> 
fantastic, fantastic. What sound? Didn't hear the sound. Oh, okay. Is my um Is my game audio working? Let's play the horn and see if it Can you hear the horn guys? Is that working? <laughs> right. Okay, we've got a green so we can reset our DRA. Daniel's trains, yeah, York. GJ Barnard, done lots of research with 782 and 84G, and I think locomotive location livery is 7822 Foxcote Manor on the West Somerset Railway. It could well be, my friend, it could well be. You can hear the game sounds, right. Yeah, there was kind of some football fanny effects in the background, so uh, they might have been a bit quiet. Come on, lock doors, there we go. I know Dovetail are not necessarily the best when it comes to mixing sounds. I know they've, they've addressed that issue in their uh, streams before now. Right, next stop is Brighton. Am I not in forward? No, I'm not, am I? Okay. Try that. There we go. Green, off we go. Bit of wheel slip there. So we're downhill. See, this really annoys me about the heads-up display now. It's, sh it's showing me um, that we've got a red coming up. Although the last signal was green. So we will have, there will be a distance signal in between with a yellow on it. But unfortunately, the game doesn't show the distant signals on the heads-up display. It only shows the stop signals, which is a little bit annoying. Yeah, so there's our distant signal. Right, so I don't want any more tea and biscuits with the manager. You know that's a distant signal because the little triangle on it, which tells you that is a that signal cannot show a red aspect. So that signal can only show you yellow or green. Dad, Rao, does the tea and biscuits thing have a noise? We didn't hear it if there was. Uh, that's interesting, Max. You should have heard that. I am not entirely sure why you didn't. Right, red ahead. Uh, it's this side of the station. Yeah, the tea and biscuits thing should have a nice sort of trombone-y, like, eh, 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 sound effect. Um, that's really annoying if that didn't play. Right, red ahead. 20 for the AWS magnet. Again, that is down to your company's driving policy. Some companies will say 15, some companies will say 10. And it's normally no more than, because the AWS magnet should be approximately 200 foot from the signal. However, if you go in the London area, the signals are only 200 foot apart in some places. So the AWS magnets can be significantly closer. And you want to stop a coach length away from the signal. That is the... Uh, the generally accepted standard. However, at night, sometimes you might need to stop a little bit closer so you can read the signal identification plate. Um, the signalman calls you up. You need to read the identification plate to uh, identify your location if you're going to be talked past a signal at danger or something like that. So sometimes at night, you might need to stop a little bit closer. One yellow Tango 704 signal. One yellow next signal is red. We are next station, Brighton, red ahead. So your commentary driving that I'm doing there, one of the very important things as a train driver is something called non-technical skills. It's something the industry have invested really, really heavily in over the past couple of years. So you've got your technical skills, which is your ability to drive a train, how to manipulate the controls, knowing what the signals do, um, traction knowledge, route knowledge. But your non-technical skills are things like concentration skills, um, fatigue management, um, and sort of... You know, all those sort of things that nobody talks about that you just take for granted. 
it's something the airline industry do a lot of and it's something the railway industry have started to do a lot of to reduce their number of, uh, of operational incidents. So yeah, com com something you can practice when you're driving train sim, definitely commentary driving. It is, it is pretty much say what you see. So red ahead. You could have, you could quite easily have an incident now um, where the GSMR radio fires off and you pick it up, you speak to the signalman, maybe the signalman wants to tell you about a speed restriction or, um, you know, they've had reports of, of something on the track. You know, you could pick that up, speak to the signaller and forget that you're approaching a red signal. So in this sort of scenario now, quite high risk, if the radio was to go off, I wouldn't answer it until the train had come to a stand. Uh, it'd be quite easy as well, you could have a passenger alarm could go off, passenger alarm goes off, you've got to respond to it immediately. Um, whilst you're dealing with that, your attention can be diverted away from the red signal and you can end up having a spad. Um, and there's lots of traps that you can fall into, but being aware of the trap, being forearmed is being forewarned. Um, or was that the other way around? So yeah, it's quite, it's quite good to kind of just think about the risks, think about the potential hazards and then think about what you're going to do to mitigate against them. So by constantly saying to yourself over and over again, red ahead, red ahead, red ahead, you're just keeping that in your working memory. I think they say your your working memory can only remember seven pieces of information at one time, and it's very easy for something to get pushed out. So if you're constantly saying red ahead, red ahead, red ahead, you're, you're, you're just refreshing that in your, in your mind. Um, in the summer as well, if you've got back gardens and people sunbathing and the like, <laughs> potential distractions. Um, Especially on the nice coastal routes along next to the beach. I need, needn't say any more. So yeah, really, really easy to get distracted. And a lot of spads tend to happen at low speed. Which means you've seen the yellow signal, you've acknowledged it, you've, you've got rid of the speed on the train. And because you've got rid of the speed on the train, you start relaxing. Um, and when you relax, that's when you, you lay yourself into a full sense of security and potentially have an incident. So there we go, that's a bit closer than a coach length away, but not too bad. Right, so when we stop at a red signal, we are going into full service brake, which is step three, setting the driver reminder appliance, and going into neutral. That is good practice, that most company driving policies will mandate that, and if you get downloaded by your driver manager, that's one of the things they're going to be looking for, is that you follow the correct procedure when you stop at signals. The, the DRA is... It's one of those things. A lot of freight locomotives are not not fitted with DRAs. Um, I don't think it's a mandatory requirement for locomotives to be fitted with or units to be fitted with, but most of them are. And all that simply does is stops me taking power and lights up in the cab. And it is a reminder appliance. So if I go to take power now, it won't let me take power. And that's going to prompt me to kind of think, you know, what's going on. And hopefully that's then going to jog my memory. But uh, yeah, non-technical non skills, just maintaining concentration and just working out kind of little strategies uh, that you can work out to kind of, uh, just, just things that work for you really. What works for one person doesn't necessarily work for another, you just need to figure, figure that out for yourself. Right, so while we are waiting here... Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. Train spotter 2004, have you driven the 69 yet? I have driven all four of them. Uh, Paul Crease, there we go. Use it as a tool on night driving, even 10 years post-training. Yeah, definitely, Paul, especially if you're fatigued or something like that. It's uh, It really does help. Uh, train spotting carp fishing gamer. I was just asking about grades because I've been a conductor for three years and looking to apply for a driver and wonder if my grades mattered too much. Uh, no, I'd say absolutely go for it. Just, just put in for it, definitely. Right, one yellow. I'm looking for the uh, LLL number to come up. Yeah, release that. Into forward. And then off we go. One yellow, red ahead. Third number on my screen is Rob FC Gaming with number two. Let's play Locomotive Livery Location. We've already had number two, Rob. So Steve Killing Back Music, number four. You're the next one on my list. Oh, I think there's a there's quite a big clue in that one. There is quite a big clue in that one. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I can see something that really gives that away. Right, so I've been distracted. Red ahead. My last signal was one yellow. 
Uh, Keith Jones, have you had any experience of tap changing on 86, 87s? No, I drive um, class 73s, which you have um, notches, cam-driven notches. It's very similar to tapping on the 86s and 87s, from what I understand. Um, so basically, you've got 34 notches. You've got 20 notches in series, 10 notches in parallel, and 4 notches in weak field. Um, then you've got banks of resistors, and you have to make sure you knock the resistors out. So... Um, each time you notch up, you're knocking some of the resistors out of circuit. So I believe that's very similar to tapping on the 86s and 87s. Southeast Train Spot says West Somerset Railway. Northern Princess, I think it's the East Somerset Railway. Red ahead, red ahead, red ahead. Not getting distracted. Zale D, have you ever been driving and the PASCOM has been pulled? If so, can we have the story? Uh, yeah, on quite a few occasions, ALD, I've had PASCOM activations. Normally, it's nothing interesting. Normally, it's someone stuck in the toilets who's looking for the flush button and they press the PASCOM button. Uh, the most interesting PASCOM alarm I ever had, it was uh, New Year's Eve, and I was working the last train from Hastings to London. And we left Charing Cross about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, so the fireworks had gone off and everything, and we were the last train back. Uh, I left Tunbridge Station... And my PASCOM alarm went off. Now, normally with a PASCOM alarm, you've got... Uh, uh, platform 6-1, yellow. You've got... I know they don't have it on here, but if you look on the 375, 377, you have a yellow button down by the foot pedal. And that is your PASCOM override. So you put your foot on the pedal, it stops the emergency brakes coming on. You pick up the handset and then you then talk to the person on the PASCOM. So the normal procedure is you don't stop the train... You just communicate with them and find out what's wrong with it. However, the only exception to that rule is if you are leaving a station. So if you're leaving a station and the PASCOM goes off, then you stop immediately. Uh, the reason being, maybe someone's got trapped in the doors, they're being dragged along the platform, someone's gone down the side of the train. So I was leaving Tunbridge on this service on New Year's Eve, or New Year's Day, early hours. Just putting out of Tunbridge and the PASCOM goes off. So chuck the train straight into emergency, picked up the handset. This is your driver speaking. Um, do you need any assistance? And I had a man and a woman come onto the thing and said, yeah, we've locked ourselves in the disabled toilet. Can you help us, please? But it wasn't one person. It was a man and a woman. And then I'm, I'm start, you know, my mind's going, mm, what are they doing in there, I wonder? <laughs> so was, I said, you know, where do you want to get off? It's like, oh, Tunbridge. Well, I was like, right, you're only at Tunbridge. So we, we were still in the platform, fortunately. So reopened the doors. Platform staff and the guard went back to reset it, helped them out the toilet, and uh, everything was everything ended well. Right, guys, we are coming into Brighton, which is our terminal station. We'll have one more round of locomotive location livery, and then we'll do a reveal. Post your numbers now for locomotive livery location. So 10 for the TPWS loops, which don't work. Uh, we don't want to be going any faster than 10 miles an hour over the loops at the station. Also, 90 people of 90 of you lovely people in tonight. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. That would be brilliant. Yeah, I'm actually fanning the brake, which is a really bad thing to do. Rather than going sort of on, off, on, off, you should try and leave it on and uh, put it on and leave it, really. So there we go. Right, we are... Buffer stop is classed as a red signal, so we're going to go full service brake, set the DRA into neutral, and then we're going to open our doors on the right. Uh, load passengers is going very, very quickly this time. Uh... It wants us to do the shutdown procedure. We'll do that in just a second. Number four, number nine, pick and pop. Number three, you are the... Let's play third number on my locomotive list. livery location. Revealing what is behind box number three. What are you thinking to that, guys? Is that any help at all? Is that any help at all? What do we reckon? We'll do a reveal in just a second. Good work. That's all your tasks for now. Let's see how you did. Go on. Tell me. Tell me. It's not ending. 
<laughs> I do like the rush hour passengers. Rush hour. Uh, stop accuracies. Other than Falmer, which is where I used emergency. Stop accuracies. Uh, pretty tight. That's that's pretty good. I'll take that. Gold medal. Fantastic. Right, let's have a reveal on locomotive location livery. Let's play locomotive livery location. So it's quite a few people, at least one or two people I've seen that have got this correct. I'm going to press that button there. Are you getting the sound effects on that? Hopefully you're getting the sound effects on that. And that is Foxcote Manor locomotive 7822. And that is at Bishop's Lydid, I want to say, which is on the West Somerset Railway. So thank you very much to uh, LaserJet for sending that in. That is fantastic. If you would like to send me in any pictures for locomotive location delivery, you can do it via my social media channels, which are on the screen right now, or you can pop me a direct message in the Discord server. If you want to join the Discord server, there is a, an invitation link to that in the description below. So guys, we are going to call it a night there. Hope you've enjoyed the stream. I certainly have. It's been uh, It's been a good one. Um, if you are a Patreon supporter or you are a mod, then I hope to see you in the uh, Patreon stream, which will be starting in around about five minutes' time. If you want access to that stream, then you can visit patreon.com forward slash dadrail for that. So I hope to see you in the next stream, everybody. It's been a really good one. Oh, Ryan's Trains and Buses pledged £2 via Patreon. Thank you very much, bud. Uh, watch your emails. I'll send you a link for the stream in just a few minutes' time. So all that's left for me to do is to press my end screen button. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. It's been a pleasure as always. If you haven't already, please do hit that like button and consider subscribing. Join us on the Discord or on the social media. I hope to see you in the next stream. Steve, that joke is terrible.